Okay, the notification didn't pop up that time. Which leads me... Which leads me to believe... That... What the fuck? Okay. Alright. <laughs> please tell me this is gonna work. Just work, please. Because the thing that we were just looking at just now is the launcher. The launcher then leads to three separate games. Here we go. Okay. Ooh. Oh boy. I gotta turn this down a little bit. What's funny is whenever I look into my audio settings to turn this down, it just comes up as splash screen instead of Mass Effect. <laughs> and if it does feel a little weird, I might switch to controller, because... I don't know. I, I always played through this game on controller originally. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Ooh, I like that new UI. information requested. Okay. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it looks so good. And then we'll go from there. Different... Oh, this is weird. I like it, though. Warning. Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. All right. Confirm pre-service history. You were an orphan raised in the streets with great megatropolis, uh, tr uh, whatever, that word. Covering Earth, you escaped a life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. Probably Confirm go with that one. Psychological profile. Do I want to be a biotic? So the only, I believe in the first game, the only class that can get heavy armor is the soldier. And you can use most weapons as the soldier, just not the sniper. Oh, never mind, they changed that. That's right, they changed that for the Legendary Edition. So you can use any weapon with any class. So... I'm not too worried about heavy armor. I do kind of want to be a form of biotic in some way. I also like playing Infiltrator, but I'm probably going to go... Probably going to go Vanguard. I'll look at some of the presets. They changed the customization up so much. It looks so much better. It's not even funny. <laughs> Real smug looking. <laughs> That's thumbnail material right there. All right. Profile reconstruction complete. Looks so much better than the original game. You have no idea. If you haven't played the original game, I suggest you go back and play it before playing through these. Or, actually, better yet, play through this so you get the full experience in the amazing graphics. Then play through the old one just to see how bad it <laughs> looks compared in comparison. Identification confirmed. Um, I'm going to play on VET, even though I'm playing on PC for the first time ever. Only because I'm not going to play Hardcore or Insanity. That's just too much. But I'm going to play on Vet just because I've played Mass Effect eight times. Like, I've played through each of the games at least eight times. Auto level up off. Level scaling. You can go back to classic level scaling, which is nice. But I'm going to leave it at Legendary. Um, squad power usage. Typically... I set it to all, as odd as that seems, because they tend to use their powers on appropriate enemies. But I'll leave it on defensive, because it seems like that's what the game probably wants me to. Subtitles on. Autosave on. Enable tutorials. Yes, only because I'm playing on PC. Look at that mass relay. That is beautiful. Very pretty. Oof, I can already see the glare of the N7 well, in the glass. what about Shepard? 
Earthborn, I'm gonna be quiet. but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets, learned to look out for herself. She proved herself during the Blitz, held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. She's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question her courage. Humanity needs a hero, and Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. Of my arms are standing up. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Oh, it looks good. The stream won't do it justice either. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. Because the streams are typically at lower quality than what you're actually streaming. Oh, it looks good. Approach run has begun. And I know I know most people are gonna play as default uh, fem ship, but I had to customize my own. You probably can't even hear me because this song is so fucking loud. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sinking. Oh, Joker. Gauge. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain, Your captain will, be, will pleased. be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across oh my the galaxy God, it looks so good. the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. So, your first decision ever is beyond unimportant <laughs> no matter what you choose here you're it's going to pretty much end the same way the dialogue options will be slight like there'll be slightly different dialogues like if you say cut the chatter she gets pissed if you say you're overreacting she says one thing if you say i agree which i'm going to do because it's the more paragon of the three they don't send says specters this. on shakedown runs so there's more going on here than the captain's letting on Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. <laughs> God, I miss this game. And how do I talk to people? E is not it. Which is what I thought it would be. <laughs> Put your fucking gun up. Okay, time to look at the controls. He vines. Where's interact? I probably missed it. Uh, is it spacebar? Yes, I forgot about that. Sprint and 
user the same button. Forgot about Congratulations, that. Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't God, trust this game looks beautiful. Guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are I'm drinking a um, chocolate milkshake from why Arby's right Spectre now. I'm very happy, boy. On a shakedown run. It doesn't add up. I will say, this isn't a complaint by any means, but the hair, right, in the game seems to look really great on some characters, but not nearly as good on others. So, like, Presley's hair um, seems... A little scruffy, kind of looks like a Brillo pad. But maybe it's supposed to look like that, I don't know. Old man hair. Um, but then you see my character's hair here is just shiny and I look like a fucking supermodel. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious mm. the shakedown run is just a cover. It's a good-ass milkshake. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. All right, Presley. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. I would do that. Don't I'm not going to lie. Don't like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Chairs all squeaky. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still you makes space racist! Have a Spectre on board. This is actually Especially a common a theme in the first game, surprisingly. We're an alliance vessel, human Much military, more than some of the other games. The like, captain, there is the quite a bit of space the racism. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Aight. Alright, I'm a fool, quit you. Crime dog. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling Fuck, I keep hitting, I keep wanting to hit E to interact, because that's how a lot of other games are. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on E might change too long, that. will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real Dr. action Chuck usually was. ends with me she patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well -respected. Just saying, if you notice that I go through some of these dialogue options quickly, it's because I already know what all of them are. They don't always so I just choose the one that I want, or that I know is going to lead to a good outcome. them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians I think I just <laughs> I just selected that one. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. 
Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights <coughs> from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. That is very true. Any idea why Eden Prime I feel the is same way. our destination? Like... Not really if sure, life, Commander. like if you're one of given a safe and sound place to take the lifestyle, eventually that no person there. will grow up to kind of on board. not it's really resent that, but they'll the go against how they were raised and uh, typically act out more often. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Hello there! What button was it again? Space. <laughs> Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I wouldn't I've know. never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? God, Nihilus looks Proof good. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? <laughs> See his little, like, head twitch? He looked back. Like, that was a thing I noticed in the original. Also, our eyes look much better in this version. A little glossy, um, but overall, like, much better, because the original had this weird effect on your eyelashes, where they overlapped with your eyes really weird. It just didn't look normal. It looked really bad, and it, it was, it happened with literally every single character in the game, no matter the species. It was really irritating. Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going Anderson. on. Anderson! This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I kind of want to be an asshole. <laughs> but I'm... You know what? Fuck it. I already figured that out. We're making mm, a covert sass. of Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I'm pretty sure if you don't click this option here, you miss out on an important part of a codex for like the rest of the game. So always ask about the Protheans. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Uh, you sound worried. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. 
You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. There's a reason Some of us see the potential that Turians and uh, humans kind of have this odd galaxy, beef with each other. To the Spectres. We are an elite um, group. It's known it's as the First Contact War. I probably won't be going over the codex in these streams, but if you want to learn, really learn more about it, play through the game and talk. read into the contact or the uh, the codex, and you'll get a little bit more context on what happened. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'm done asking questions, we're just, just gonna go for word, it. Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Oh, this already looks so good. This game looks so good. Get down! out after that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 yep status report we'll be seeing that thing 17 a minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Okay. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Oh, Eden Prime. Your looks team's so the good. muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. The comparison Otherwise, videos of the silence. two games doesn't do this justice. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. There we go. Oh my. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Just. Look at that. Look at the shine coming off my helmet and this everything. It looks so good. <laughs> Smells like smoke and death. Oh, God. God. What happened? So beautiful. Is there um, an FOV slider by chance? If not, that's fine. But, like, it would be nice to have one. Yeah, I'm not seeing one. That's bad. Oh. 
<laughs> you can like change their equipment as well. Oh, this is so nice. Can I? Oh, you can. You can drag around the uh, thing to select a specific target. Say I want to use. Uh, let's use warp on this thing. It didn't do anything. Yes, bag. That did. I am going to enjoy this. Oh, the running animation and everything. <laughs> uh, open. Combat sensor. Okay. Ooh. I think maybe my sensitivity might be kind of high. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. Turn it down like a 41. That should be fine. It's a little bit better. Oh my god. Oh god. What happened here? Nothing good. Chicken boy. Oh, they look so good. Ignore the fact that Jenkins just <laughs> bit the bullet. But... Once the My is eyes are a little buggy, yeah, aren't they? Not like buggy I as in like... Uh, as in like game breaking buggy, but like... They just look a little funny. That's why you aim. Metagel is used to heal injured squad mates. Omnigel can be used by... Uh, I forgot about that. Oh, you can actually see his health down at the bottom. I just pointed at my screen as if you guys could see it. Down at the bottom left, you see that? Well, not bottom left, but center left, bottom. Where Caden's face is. It says if I hit V, I can heal him. Okay. I like that. As you gain levels, uh. Uh, not that. You. So he gains some points. Um, I'm gonna put some points into decryption for now. And let's give him barrier. Let's go to me. I don't have any points yet. Oh, look at the lighting. I'm just killing these things for funsies. I Like, I know that's terrible. But, like, if Jenkins wouldn't have pointed them out... There used to be a container here, and it looks like they moved it. Either that or it's not there anymore. Like, it's not here anymore. Uh, use left shift to... Oh! Use Q and E to send your squad mates forward and C to call them back. Okay, that's what that was. And warp. And you throw it. Nice. Oh, sniping is gonna... I should have went with an infiltrator. This feels good. Well, technically, I don't even have to worry about being an infiltrator to use a sniper anymore, but still. That way I could have, like, used cloak and things like that. Those buildings, I feel like, were not up there before. Oh, oh the winds flare. This game is beautiful. Interesting. They kept the audio for her pistol in that clip, despite the, um... Oh, the geth looks so good. Despite her gun sounding different in the, um, comparison videos. And the trailer. Oh, my 
Jesus Christ. Um, I'm gonna have you swap to a shotgun. Just for funsies. <laughs> this game, it feels, it feels different, but better in so many ways. Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns, nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh man, we were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Right. Move out! Let's move out. Uh, press escape. Squad talent screens. Okay. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Scorpion armor. Okay, time to see what other armor apart from this looks like. Okay. Not bad. I was expecting it to look worse. This I like the mesh look right here and here. Pretty spicy. Okay. It actually looks really good. The scorpion armor typically looks fairly... Not bad, but like... In the old games, it just didn't look... Normal. Grenade time! <laughs> God, the shotgun. And then, oh yeah, I forgot about the melee. Some new equipment. You'll notice that all of the weapons look different uh, between upgrades. So as you can see, I'm using the Kessler right now. And then I swapped to an Edge, and the Edge is now a red model. Um, Avenger to a Hammer. And then you can click on... I forget which details. I forget how to um, modify. Oh, it's the, these up here. Okay. So I don't have a space for that yet. So you can click up here and modify specific things about each of your weapons. So say I click up here basic rounds, which gives me shield bypass, but reduce damage overall. Typically, you'd probably want something like that on an automatic weapon. And I'm going to put a combat sensor on it. Uh, and then for you, I'm just going to go ahead and put that on there. I have six points already. They, they really changed that then, because normally between level ups you'd only get like three. Pistol and shotgun damage by 7%. Um, weapon damage and melee. Attack armor. I'll put some points into warp so I can get barrier. And then 
put the other two in the vanguard. Caden. And then put one into electronics. That was probably a bad idea for that one, but whatever. It's fine for now. We go to. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. Yeah. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. I always thought these things were creepy as hell. Like, creepier than any zombie you can think of, right? Oh God, they're still alive. They hey, they fixed the animation on the little uh, pylon. There was a weird animation bug on it uh, back in the old, olden days. Can we double throw this guy? I kind of want to see what would happen. See, I'm going to throw him. And now, nope. Now you throw him. <laughs> How's the uh, kit back here? Nice, some more armor. You can always use that. Wrong button. New AR. New shotgun. Uh, the only thing that really goes up on that. I want damage, though. Uh, different armor. Would that be better for Caden? It would increase his shields. <laughs> that is not a good look for you, Caden. I don't really have anything for you yet, Ashley. We thought this world was safe. That door, it's closed. Security First decryption. Right. I'm pretty sure they changed in this game, right? Like, they changed it a little bit. Some locked objects require decryption or electronics access. If a squad member has the required talent, you will be able to unlock using the interface. Advance the central core. Oh, okay, it's this one. I figured they would have changed it. Humans. Thank oh my god. These doctors Hurry, look really good. The door before they come back. I think the textures on their outfits and everything are great. Don't worry. We'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness. I'm curious as to see coin. if they uh, is it madness to see the future? To see increase the quality of the us? punching to sound effect. There is no escape. You'll no see what hope? I mean in a second. No, I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Barry! Oh my god! I mean, they kinda what did. did. You do? 
that might it's definitely a different sound, but it still wasn't very go good. Around whacking people in the head. It was only a matter of time till he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. He slump. Wait. Hold on. I was gonna see what the running animation looked like when you're holstered. Oh, shit's about to go down. Sarah. Nihilus. Like, if you couldn't tell that he's evil, just from his voice and his Sarah. name, what are you doing here? The tubes in his the body should give it away, you, you know? This one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. And that was the sound of our friend dying. Oh, this bit. good though it looks good oh my gun sounds different because I'm using basic rounds hold on you might be a little deafened from this it's a little loud oh even the flat I, the trees are moving realism here we go whoa I did not realize I was using a burst sniper. I didn't know those were in this game. <laughs> I'll be honest. God, the gunplay in this game feels so much better. Even Prime will never do the same again. I'm glad that you can run outside of combat now. That used to not be a thing. Come on, come on. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. Nice scar, so we made man. a break for the sheds. I'm just gonna... I yeah, hey, I don't want to ask any questions. Farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. You're not breaking the law, anybody. Cole. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. I'm pretty sure I streamed this exact moment in uh, on the old games, in, like maybe about a year ago. And whenever <laughs> I, I was doing a Kermit sure voice for some reason, I think I was drunk. <laughs> I don't know why I was doing it. I was like, you're breaking the law, Cole. Like shit like that the whole stream, and I don't know why. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive. I have to go. Later, bro. Good luck. Excuse me. I'm going to steal all of your shit. 
and this is why I leveled up Caden's decryption. Come on. <laughs> There's better ways of doing that, trust me. Swap to a sh dang eh? Different model. It's nice. I can't wear that. Neither she can she. It's heavy armor. And just so you know, yes, you can take off the helmet, if you were curious. I don't remember how. <laughs> how do you take off the helmet? Is it in the... Here it is. You have to go to the UI, and there you go. There you go. Damn it. I'm going to save it here um, because I have to go deal with something real quick and then I will, I'm going to end the stream as well, but I will be back. I'm going to stream more of this later. Um, hope you all enjoyed that. Thank you.